Welcome back to the channel. Today, my rip zone is going on a diet. The quickest and easiest way to drop a little bit of weight is contained in this box. So if you've caught any of my other videos about this bike, you'll know that my biggest complaint about it is really just the weight. Um, and a lot of that had to do with the original stock tires. There were those V tire flow snaps. They weighed a ton. I've replaced them with this WTB Trail Boss and Vigilante setup that I currently have. It's definitely lighter, but it's still not the lightest and it's still not quite the fastest rolling. So you already know from the title of this video, there's some new tires inside of that box. And these tires, actually there are some issues with them anyway, so they do need to be replaced sooner or later. So this is the Vigilante that's in the front. It's a 2.5. It's still a pretty heavy, kind of slow rolling tire, uh, but it does offer a ton of grip. So I don't really dislike it because of that. However, the side lugs are showing some wear on it, pretty significant already. Um, it's like the inner edge of the lugs are starting to kind of tear a bit. You can see it there. That's another pretty good example of it. Some of them are worse than others, um, but you know, if you're cornering and then these things are coming loose and then folding over, I mean, that's not giving you a lot of grip. And then of course, this is the 2.4 Trail Boss in the rear. This is the one that I got a gash in and had to repair. Um, as you can see here, Let's see if we can get a good shot of that. That's where I repaired. It's kind of bulging out a little bit. I mean, I've ridden it really hard since I've repaired it and it hasn't lost any air. It's still pretty solid, but you know, I just don't trust it for the really, really long haul. Uh, but it is a lightweight, fast rolling tire. I've pretty much worked out that this is a 2019 tire because all the 2020s, um, this is the light fast rolling combo without the slash guard. And that doesn't exist for the 2020 models without tan walls which obviously this doesn't have, or kind of looks like it does because it's so dirty, but they're not tan wall tires. Um, I've also seen the 2020 Trail Boss tires, and in the 2.4, the fast rolling uh, with a slash guard, uh, that you could, you could tell a noticeable difference in the tread pattern. The side lugs were a lot larger. The center lugs were spaced out a little bit more, uh, if I remember correctly. So this is an older model. Um, like I said, it's fast rolling. There's not a ton of grip, especially in like loose conditions. So similar to the Vigilante in the background, I don't really dislike this tire. It is fast rolling, it is lightweight. I wish it had a little bit more grip, but you know, you can't have fast rolling and a ton of grip. All right, so now on to the tires. First, got my sealant, of course, need that. So these are both Maxxis Recons. And what I'm gonna do is put the Recon 2.4 on the back. So it's a little bit narrower. Well, it's the same width as the Trail Boss, but a little bit narrower than what's going on the front. This is their 3C Max Terra EXO protection. Tubeless ready, obviously. And then for the front, it is another Recon. It's a 2.6 on this one. Same thing with the, the specs on it. Uh, so it's just gonna have hopefully a little bit more grip, a little more traction up front. These are billed as like aggressive XC slash trail tires. So it's definitely not as chunky as that Vigilante. Uh, but for me and for the type of riding I do, I think it's gonna be better. I think it's gonna be faster rolling. These are far, far, far lighter. All right, so I got the kitchen scale here. My wife would probably not be too happy about that, uh, but I got the paper towel on it, so it's fine. All right, so it's balanced, zero grams right now. We're gonna put the 2.4, the rear on. I looked it up, that is supposed to be 840 grams, and we can see that it's coming in at 836, 836 and a half. Sorry about the glare there. Uh, so a couple grams under, that's a good thing. And now for the 2.6, which is gonna go on the front, this is supposed to be 780 grams. Um, let's get this on here. We are at 814, 813 and a half. So that's a little bit over what they advertise, uh, but I would be really surprised if it came in at 780, a bigger tire coming in at considerably less than the smaller tire. So. It's still gonna be good. It's still gonna give me a lot of weight savings and of course, some faster rolling abilities with this tread. All right, so the last thing to do before I start changing these tires is to get a baseline weight because I am really curious how much weight this is really gonna save. Um, so I've got the scale right here. I'm gonna do this unscientifically. I'm gonna weigh myself holding the bike, weigh myself without the bike, do the subtraction. Uh, keep in mind, this is with my bottle cage on. This is with my pedals on. And I've also added a little bit of frame protection, uh, which could add a minuscule amount of weight to it as well. So right here we are at 220.6. It's kind of going between that and 220.4, so we'll call it 220.5. All right, I've actually got the scale on a little bit more level of a surface. 
hitting 220.6 now. And now for weighing myself, I'll hop on this scale. 185.6. All right, so 220.6 minus 185.6 is 35 on the nose. This is actually exactly the number I got when I weighed it previously as well. So I'm pretty confident that that's an accurate weight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap both of these tires over. I'm not gonna bore you by showing you that whole process. I mean, there's a million videos on YouTube that show you how to change tires and set them up tubeless and all that good stuff. So thanks to the magic of editing, we'll be back in a split second with the new tires on. All right, so it's the next day and both new tires are on. Uh, not because I had any trouble getting them on, I just had some other stuff to do. They actually went on really, really easily with just a basic floor pump. So we'll take a closer look at each one. In the back, obviously the 2.4. It really, to me, looks maybe more like a 2.3. I mean, it doesn't really seem like it has that 2.4 width. Uh, this is really, I guess, just comparing it to that Trail Boss that was also a 2.4. Um, just doesn't quite look that wide, but I think it'll still be good for a rear tire. So it's a similar situation up front. Uh, this is the 2.6. Really doesn't look that much wider than the 2.5 inch Vigilante that was on here before. Of course, that could just be a visual thing. I mean, that Vigilante had a lot bigger side knobs, bigger knobs everywhere. Uh, that could have just made it look like a bigger tire. So now that they're on there, let's get the weight and compare. So I'll weigh myself first. I had a big lunch. I usually don't even eat lunch at all, but I did today. 186.2. And now for the weight with the bike. I've done this one a couple of times, actually, and it's going between 220.6 and 220.8. Sometimes it lands on one, sometimes it lands on the other. So I'm going to call it 220.7. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Saved half a pound by switching to this setup. Got some new tires. I don't have to worry about some of the issues that were cropping up with the old tires. Now, of course, that weight savings means absolutely nothing if they're crap on the trails. So next thing I'm going to do is go for a ride. All right, so this is actually my third ride on these tires. And I did that because I wanted to actually like have a, you know, a useful opinion on them and not just like the first thing that comes to mind. And every time, immediately upon getting on the bike, I'm surprised how quick it just kind of propels and gets up to speed. They're definitely faster rolling tires for sure. But right now I got this climb ahead of me. I'm at Forest Hill Park. We'll speed it up through this climb and I'll see you at the top. So that climb definitely got the heart rate going, but it just didn't feel as soul sucking as it usually does. That could also be that I'm fresh, you know, it's the first thing I did today was climb up that. So I have a downhill section coming up in a minute here. The reason I picked Forest Hill Park to do this is that it's a good mix of terrain. There's some tech sections, there's some speed kind of flow areas. So the big question with these tires is really, you know, what type of grip penalty am I having for having something that's faster rolling like this? As far as the rear is concerned, not much at all. I mean, it feels like a ton of grip out there when you need it. The only time that that wasn't necessarily true was on some parts of buttermilk where they were like wet rocks, wet rocky climbs specifically. And that is also a little bit of poor technique on my own. I still kind of have to remind myself to keep my weight back on climbs. And by doing that, it helped, but there's only so much a wet tire can do on a slick rock. So in terms of front end grip on this wider recon tire, that's one thing I still haven't fully worked out yet. My first ride was at Pocahontas State Park and it was great in anything hard packed. Some of the looser turns, I just wasn't sure how hard I could push it before it lost grip. And I still haven't exactly determined that yet.
Now as with any lighter, faster rolling tire, durability is a concern, strength. Right there, I just leaned too far forward and slid a little bit. One thing that I can say is, you know, I slipped off of a rock, you know, it hit the sidewall for sure. It also scratched my rim, which is rare for me. Like our rims, I don't think they have any marks, maybe one other, but the tire's fine. So in terms of overall opinion on these tires, I definitely like them, especially for this terrain that we have here. I think I got exactly what I was hoping for. Faster rolling for sure, lighter for sure. I think the rear even has more grip than the trail boss that I took off. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with them. Now this may be a better climbing test that I've been riding for a little bit because this is another climb that's, I don't know, for Richmond, it's a climb. But it gets steep up here. <clears throat> and I always do feel like I'm wiped at the end of it. I don't know, it just does feel faster and easier to do stuff like that. Could it be a placebo effect? Sure, but I don't think it is because the numbers don't lie. I mean, they're just lighter, period. And that is rotational weight too. There's a rock garden coming up here that they had blocked off, I guess, what was a cheater line. Let's see if I can get it on the proper line this time. Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. I always took the other line before, just because it looked easier and, I don't know, probably not the right mentality to have when you're out here. Another little root garden. All right guys, thanks for watching. Gotten myself all sweaty, time to go back to work. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, like I said, I really like that rear tire. Rolls really good, has plenty of grip for my use anyway. Uh, the front tire, not 100% sold on yet. It's going to depend, you know, on how I get more confident pushing it into corners and how it reacts to that. So far, I like it, but, you know, maybe I'll go with something with a little more grip eventually. So you know the deal from here. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time.